Hi everybody and welcome to Rocco Baby Crochet. I hope you're all well and having a great week. A lovely warm welcome back to all my regular viewers and subscribers. It's so lovely to have you here and thank you for supporting the channel. A massive warm welcome to anybody who's just found the channel for the first time. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Stick around and consider subscribing, which will mean you won't miss out on my next patterns or tutorials, and it'll just support the channel as well. So over the next three tutorials, we're going to be learning how to make the gorgeous baby gift sets. Can you believe we're at the last part of the set? So this third tutorial is going to show us how we make our lovely bunny ears teething ring. So for my bunny ears teething ring, my wooden ring measures 55mm in diameter, I ordered mine off Amazon. I've also used again the Silkeress yarn by Signet in the green which is the mallow colour and then the white for the edging. For this teething ring you'll need a 4mm hook, you'll also need a 3mm crochet hook as well. You'll need a darning needle, a pair of scissors and of course your ring. teething ring you want to grab your wooden ring and you're just going to thread your yarn through it from back to front then if you take your crochet hook and I'm still using my four millimeter one at this point make a little slip knot and then pick up your yarn at the back and all we're going to do at first is just slip stitch to join the yarn to the ring and then I'm going to carry this loose end around as I do mine but we're going to insert the hook into the middle of the ring grab onto the yarn and pull up a loop so you'll have two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through both loops and we'll do that in total 20 times so there's one back into the loop grab onto the yarn pull up a loop two loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through both loops, there's two and we're going to repeat that 20 times. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I'm just going to push, pull them all together a little bit, so there's my first ten, so I've just got to do ten more now, so that's eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and then my last one, 20. So I'll just chain one once I've done my 20 stitches around this ring. You want a nice length loose end here because we'll be using this to, tie, to sew on to the bunny ears. So I'm going to cut off about 10 inches, pull up on that chain one and pull the yarn all the way through. Secure the chain one between my thumb and my finger and pull firmly just to tighten that knot. Then we can put our hoop to one side just for a moment and we're going to make the ears for the top. So to make the bunny ears to go on top of our teething ring I drop down to a three millimeter crochet hook so this just means that my stitches are nice and tight and when the teething ring is picked up the bunny ears stay standing up. You want to just make a slip knot and pop that onto your hook and we're going to begin by chaining 24. So I'm going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through in total 24 times so I've just done five chains 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, and twenty four. So now for the first row of our bunny ears, we want to double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So this is my working yarn that's on the hook. Here is my first chain and here is my second chain. I'm going to turn my work over and work into the back loops. So when we look at our work, this is the first back loop and here's my second. If you don't feel confident working into these back loops, you can work into the front loops if you prefer. I just think this gives a much neater finish to your work and we're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. So we've got two loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. Then we're going to place one double crochet in the next nine stitches. So I'm going to insert my hook underneath into the next chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. So we'll have 10 double crochets in total. So there's my first two. There's three. Seven, eight, nine, and here's my last one, ten, and into the next chain along you place in two double crochets, so a double crochet increase, so there's one and then back into that same chain and place a second one and then into the next chain along you're going to place three double crochets so insert your hook into the next chain yarn over pulling up a loop yarn over pull through both loops insert your hook into the same space again place a second one and back in for a third time and place your third double crochet then into the next chain you're going to be placing two double crochets so insert your hook into that chain yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through both loops back into that same space and place a second one you should now have 10 chains remaining and into each of those chains we're just going to place one double crochet. So I'm just going to insert my hook into the next chain and place a double crochet and one in every chain remaining. So I should have 10 in total. So there's two, three, So there's 10. So then I'm going to chain one. I'm going to leave a long enough loose end to weave that in and just snip my yarn, pull up on that chain one and pull firmly on the chain one just to secure that piece of work. And then what we're going to do is grab our contrasting colour. So I've just turned my ear over so my loose end is on the right hand side because I'll crochet over that as I go along. So grab your contrasting colour make a slip knot and place that onto your hook and we're going to place one double crochet into the first 12 stitches so we want to join it into that very last stitch that we've just made so inserting your hook underneath the top of that stitch slip stitch to join the yarn 
and then chain one and like I say I'm going to carry this yarn both my loose ends over for a little bit just so I don't have to weave them in at the end of the project. Into this very first stitch here I'm going to place one double crochet and one double crochet into the next 11 stitches so in total we'll have 12 double crochets so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine there's ten eleven and there's twelve into my next stitch I'm going to place two double crochets so there's one, insert my hook back into that stitch, place another one, into my next stitch along I'm going to place two double crochets and two crochets into this next stitch so in total you'll have made three double crochet increases and then one double crochet into each of the 12 remaining stitches so there's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Um, 11 and here's my last one for 12 then I'll chain one and again leave enough of a loose end to weave it in so I've left three or four inches there pull up on my chain one hold the chain one between my thumb and finger and pull that firmly to secure that and there's the first of our two ears that we'll sew onto our teething ring so we just need to repeat that and make a second one if you need to rewind the video then go ahead and do that and make your second bunny ear and then come back to me and we'll attach them to our ring so I've now got my ring and my two ears and I've just thread my darning needle onto my loose end of the ring now if that isn't long enough for you to do this then you can just use some yarn from your ball and I'm just going to pop my hook through the very first double crochet that we made there from back to front and then I'm going to grab my first ear and I'm just going to sew that in so I'm just going to lay it down pop my needle through the ear and then through the second double crochet pop my needle through the next stitch along and then through the ear and pull that through and then I'll turn it over pop my needle into the corner of this side of the ear and then through the stitch that runs behind it and pull through then I'm just going to go up a stitch so pop my needle through that next one there I'm leaving one stitch in between both halves of these ears then I'll pop my hook through the corner of the second side and then through the next stitch along and pull that tight and then I'll insert my hook through my next stitch of my ring through the middle of that side of my ear and pull it through then through the very corner of my bunny ear insert my needle there and then into the next stitch along on my hoop and pull that through nice and tightly 
so I will go over that a couple of times just to make sure that it's nice and secure because this again is for a baby but just so you can see how I do it then I'll pop my needle back through so then I'm going to take my second ear and I'm going to pop my needle into that very last stitch there our very first stitch and pop that through and then I'm going to go through the very next stitch on my hoop with my needle and pull that through then I'm going to pop my needle through the next stitch of the hoop through the centre of that side of my ear and pull through then I'm going to pop my needle into the very corner of this side of the ear I like to pick up two strands of yarn and through the next stitch on the hoop and pull through insert my needle through the next stitch along and then grab the second side of my ear pop my needle through that very corner of the second side and then through the very next stitch on my hoop and pull through run my needle through the underneath the next stitch along through the middle of that ear and pull through and then pop my needle into the very corner of the ear and through the next stitch there and you should just have one stitch that we don't work anything into and like I said because this is for a baby I'm going to run that through a couple of times so it's it's lovely and secure but that's how we make our bunny ears teething ring so I've just finished securing my bunny ears so they're lovely and secure so by now you should also have your lovely bib your pacifier clip and your teething ring if you do make anything from this set then I'd love to see the pictures of it join us over on Facebook we have loads of fun over there sharing pictures of things that we've done throughout the week and if you've enjoyed the tutorial please give me a thumbs up hit subscribe and the bell notification so that you don't miss out on my next free pattern or tutorial and it will just support us here at Rocco Baby Crochet as well. So have a great weekend, have fun with your hooking and I'll see you real soon. Bye!